Leon Marchand has been in the headlines of almost every major swim publication for his breakneck speeds and historic finishes in the water this season. But this weekend, the program has a chance to make some history of their own with a chance to take home its first ever national title. We bring in Jaden Taylor for a wider view of what's on the line this weekend in the pool for the Sun Devils. So, Jaden, to start things off, Leon Marchand, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, has been a major factor uh, for the swim team. But what are some other things that have led them to success and who's been the major contributors? Yeah, I think the building blocks for this team really started back in 2020, 2021, where head coach Bob Bowman decided we're not going to have a season with different things due to COVID protocols and whatnot. They decided to redshirt the entire team. That was set up to get everybody another year of eligibility as well as really harp on the recruiting. And the biggest recruit they got was a man from Toulouse, France, Leon Marchand, a freshman last season, the 2022 Swimmer of the Year on the men's side. And this season, he has not stopped a single beat. Broke the U.S. Open and the NCAA record in a dual meet up against Cal, then broke that same record just three weeks later at the 400 IM in the Pac-12 championships. He has been a dominant factor all season long, and Bob Bowman discussed about him He's a guy he sees that has many similarities to a guy like Michael Phelps. And Bob Bowman, the former coach of Michael Phelps in the 2003 Olympics, there's a lot of similarities between those two. He has been a piece that has just helped out so much, according to head coach Bob Bowman. And then you add on with Marshawn, a guy like Zalan Sarkani, who is dominant in the 1650, along with Grant House on top of that with some of the speed threats that he's been able to work around. And you bring together a team that got its first ever Pac-12 men's swimming champion ships this season. They've been moving on top of that, helping out with a lot of depth this season, and that's what's gotten them the number one team in the country. You talk about Cal and Texas, two powerhouse swim programs for the Sun Devils, though. They've got two days left to competition. So right now, where do they stand in the NCAA championships? So prelims just got done about an hour and a half ago. We're going to see another hour and a half until we get to finals. Through two days, we've seen ASU currently in third place, Cal at the one spot, Texas at the two. It's a growing factor. They're going to need to kind of really climb the ladder a little bit with them, about 30 points down. But a really good solid start to day one was what happened. Two different second place runner-up finishes in the 200 medley relay and 800 free relays, which got them to first place after day one. A couple hiccups in day two, but of course, the finisher that's been doing it all season long has been Leon Marchand. An incredible day for him in day two. A 136-3-4 for Marchand in the 200 IM. He breaks his own record from last year's championships, and that's the guy you want. He is a person that we'll see in a couple years in the Olympics and has been carrying this team to really championship-level quality. What needs to happen for ASU to keep their title hopes alive? Cal and Texas, two dynamite programs in the water they're kind of going up against them so what do they have to do here now to just kind of close things out and just try to win that title and keep it alive so prelims for today ended about about an hour and a half ago we're going to see finals another hour and a half from now there's 15 events to go through today and tomorrow the weekend locks that i think we're going to see like we mentioned early the 400 im with leon marshawn he's been the dominant factor already has the ncaa record the biggest thing for asu is the 200 free they got grant house julian hill and Patrick Salmon all in the finals that we're going to see here tonight. Three different swimmers for one team hasn't happened outside of one other race so far here in the swimming championships. That is going to be a big piece to add on some more points. The notables that I think are going to be needs for ASU, Jack Dolan in the 100 back. He has to find a way to squeak into that top three. Max McCuster in the 100 fly. But the biggest thing of the entire weekend is going to be the 400 medley relay and 400 free relay. If ASU can find a way to knock up a spot and get first both in the 400 free and the 400 medley, they very well could find their first national championship in program history. All right. Well, thank you so much to Jane Taylor for coming in once again and giving us all that update on ASU Swim. We'll be up up to date and you can stay up to date on www.cronkitesports.com.